Hey guys, welcome back to another Helix video. Uh, just a real quick one today. I wanted to share a free preset with you. Uh, the thing that I did with this preset is use the Helix's built-in acoustic simulator to try to simulate um, a path where you can use the volume pedal to switch between electric and acoustic tones, right? So um, as we see here in HX Edit, the top path is volume and amp block. I'm using the... Um, using the Cali Texas channel one cleanish version of that got a delay press reverb you know my usual stuff uh, the interesting thing here is I have the volume pedal set up on each to work in reverse so that in toe down the path number two is muted and then um, toe up path number one is muted so basically this lets you blend from one to the other and when the volume pedal is in either position all the way then basically, you know, you're getting one path, the other path is muted. Um, so let's look at the bottom path because nothing too exciting in the top. Um, I put a looper in here and I'm going to leave it in here for a reason. That reason is because your guitar is going to be different than my guitar. You will almost certainly need to tweak the EQ to get the best out of it for your guitar. Um, I'm using basically a Strat neck sound. So that's what I've EQ'd for. The nice thing about the looper strum a few chords, loop it, put the guitar away, and then tweak your EQ settings. And that's gonna be probably the fastest way to get the tones that are gonna work best for you. Um, so here we have the acoustic sim pedal, which is under the EQ section. Um, it does a pretty good job. No one's gonna believe you're playing a Martin, but that's okay. This is basically a patch that would be good for live use. If you need to do an acoustic part, it'll get you through. Um, the parametric EQ I basically just set up to try to accentuate certain frequencies to make it sound more acoustic while taking out certain frequencies that were offensive frequencies to the ear. Um, I have another 10 band in here just boosting up the 8K. I was just really experimenting with this. I'll leave it in as a way for you to fine tune uh, your tones based on how it sounds with your guitar. Um, compressor, uh, I do have a chorus on here because chorus sounds nice on acoustic. And then a reverb. So let's uh, let's just hear what it sounds like. Uh, first, I'll just play you the bass line, electric side, the top path. You know, just a pretty standard uh, electric guitar sound, clean. Uh, I'm going to rock the pedal back. So now we're hearing the same guitar, the same pickup, but we're hearing it run through the acoustic simulator. Now, again, that's not going to fool anyone into thinking that you're playing a really nice high-end acoustic guitar. Um, the uh, acoustic uh, simulator pedal is not bad, but it certainly doesn't work magic. But it could get you through a gig. And if we take the modulation off, and I think for a gig that that would work quite honestly. Um, I've heard some some pretty bad sounding electric acoustic guitars with cheap piezo bridges in them. So um, I've definitely heard some real acoustic guitars sound pretty bad live. So all in all, I think that. Um, this is definitely workable. Um, so, and then with the volume pedal, you can blend. You can. So, if you want a little bit of both, just rock the pedal till it it sounds good to your ears. Um, and it's a, again, it's a good way if you have a song where you're you're needing to do an acoustic intro or an acoustic breakdown. But for the most part, you need to just be a, as you know an electric guitar player. Uh, this is a nice little little uh, workaround to keep you from having to either switch guitars or have the acoustic on the stand, like you know you see some people do. So, um, yeah, like I said, this one was really just a super simple preset. Wasn't going to spend a lot of time. Just um, thought this might be something kind of useful uh, and in a more utilitarian way. If, by the way, to download this patch, the link will be in the description below. Feel free to download it. Try it. I, I, like I said on the top, your guitar is going to be different than mine. So very likely you'll need to tweak the uh the EQs a bit. I recommend starting on the parametric. Um, just loop something and then play around first with the with the frequencies, and then you know try boosting and cutting to see what happens. One one trick with parametric EQ, you can uh, set the Q fairly high and then boost it really high, and then sweep the frequency back and forth. And whenever you hear something really unpleasant, 
you know, that's where you need to start cutting. So that's one way to kind of find uh, frequencies that, that are not not desirable. Um, I believe I do have another video on my channel about how to use a parametric EQ to, to dial in like an acoustic tone. So um, I will probably try to link that in the uh, in this video. You should see it at the end screen, most likely. So anyway, that's it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, hope you get something out of this. Let me know what you guys think of the preset or if, if you have other ways that you accomplish the same thing. I'd love to hear about it. Um, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. If, um, if you are a Helix or a Variax user, I do have links to presets that I offer on the Line 6 Marketplace in the, again, in the description below. You'll find links to all that stuff as well as the gear I use. Um, so if you check that out, it's always a great way to support the channel. Thanks as always for checking out the video and we'll see you next time.